And now what I'm going to do next is what I would like to call the pro gamer move. Okay, let's let's do some Sesame Street action right here. We got one, one, two, two, three, three, and four. A huge thanks to Brian for sponsoring this video. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. Incredibly unrigorous engineering watch available over on Stemmerge. Check it out. Today we are going to take a look at yet another competitive mathematics problem and this time from India because Indian people are annoying the crap out of me down there in the comments. Uh, do Chi advance, uh, do India, uh, please do the whole of India. Yeah, okay, we are going to do something from the regionals. Namely, what we are going to take a look at is we got three numbers out of the positive reals and they are satisfying this equation right here and today we want to prove, we want to show that the product of the three a, b and c is less or equal to one eighth. And this is seriously a very mean problem and you are going to understand what I mean by this at the end of the video. And I hope you are going to enjoy what you are going to see today and now we are going to dive right in. So thing is dealing with fractions sucks. No one likes fractions because you know they are not really important. <laughs> Definitely not an important field in mathematics. <laughs> field in mathematics, that's also a good pun. So um, we are going to get rid of the denominators. And that's pretty easy because A, B and C are all out of the positive reals. None of the denominators are ever going to be equal to zero, meaning we can safely multiply just by the product of all of those denominators. Meaning we are going to multiply both sides by 1 plus A times 1 plus B times 1 plus C. Getting rid of the denominators in the process. What we are going to be left with is, well, on left hand side we are going to get just the product of the three. So 1 plus A times 1 plus B times 1 plus C. And obviously on the right hand side the, the factor of 1 plus A is going to cancel out on the first one, 1 plus B is going to cancel out on the second one, etc. Leaving us on the other side with, okay we are going to get A multiplied with 1 plus A is going to die somewhere in Mexico in the corner times 1 plus B times 1 plus C and it's very symmetric, it's very easy to figure out what's going to come next. B times 1 plus A times 1 plus C and then plus C times 1 plus A times 1 plus B. And hey, we are already on the right track right here. Because what we can do now is we can just multiply everything out and see if we can just cancel out some summons on the um, on both sides in in some way. It's 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 probably going to happen. I mean, we are going to get we are going to get a bunch of ABCs, for example. Okay, this is something that's definitely going to happen. You can see this at first glance. And now we are going to go um, through the process step by step. So what we are going to get is um, if I just multiply a bit of stuff together at first. So I'm I'm going to multiply the A into here, giving us A plus AB times the rest that we got here. Same thing here, B plus B times A. And right here we are going to get C plus C times A. Okay, this looks a bit cleaner and I'm also going to multiply those two together. Here we are going to get um, one plus A plus B plus AB. And now in the next iteration we can just start multiplying all the other stuff out. Meaning on the left hand side. And I'm going to use two lines now to give us a better overview of everything. Okay, um, at, at first due to the one this is going to be preserved. So one plus a plus b plus ab. And now we are just going to multiply what's in here with a c. So meaning we are going to get plus c plus ac plus bc plus abc. Like mentioned before we are going to get a bunch of abcs. This is kind of obvious. And also this right here is equal to just everything multiplied out. So we are going to get a plus ac plus ab plus abc plus. And like mentioned before it's pretty symmetric so you can obviously see what's going to come next. Namely b plus bc plus abc plus BA and last but not least C plus BC plus CA plus ABC. And now like mentioned before let us start cancelling stuff out on both sides. I mean we got a sum of ABC on both sides. Let's get rid of this one at first. Also what you're going to notice is that A, B and C 
can also be cancelled out on both sides. So meaning A is going to die, B is going to die, and also C is going to die somewhere. And also we got AB, AC, and BC down here too, except for the one. The, the one is not going to be preserved down here. So the left hand side is equal to one, and all the other ones are going to cancel out. So AB. AC for example and BC. Now what we're going to be left with overall is on the left hand side one like mentioned before and on the right hand side hmm, we are going to get ABC but this thing two times so two times ABC keep that in mind we are going to get BA, BC and CA so meaning we are going to get all the permutations of our variables basically in pairs of two. That is kind of easy meaning Overall, we get one is equal to now the permutations AB plus AC plus BC plus two ABC. And now what I'm going to do next is what I would like to call the pro gamer move. Namely, I'm going to divide both sides by four for reasons that are pretty apparent actually. Well, you know, because four is not equal to zero, it's the successor of three. We can divide both sides by it safely. And now I want you guys to count, okay? Let's let's do some Sesame Street action right here. We got one, one, two, two, three, three, and four. We got four numbers being added together, and this summation is going to be divided by four. This should ring a bell for you. I mean, we got four samples basically, and now we are going to divide it by the number of samples, four. Hey, this is the arithmetic mean, right? Or is it called the arithmetic mean? I don't know, I can't remember, but I don't give a shit to be honest. This right here is the so-called arithmetic mean. And in each and every ordered field, like for example the real numbers or the positive reals, it holds that the arithmetic mean is always greater or equal to the so-called geometric mean. Now if you don't know what it is, let me elaborate a tiny little bit. What we got here is, so the arithmetic mean is pretty clear. All of you should know this. This is just if we have n samples being added together and we are going to divide it by the number of samples, just the same situation that we got here, it's going to be greater or equal to just the nth root of all the samples multiplied together. Okay, pretty easy. You might have heard of this before. And if we take a look at those Indian, um, those Indian Olympiads, they nearly every second thing that you have to do there has to do with arithmetic or geometric means. It's it's kind of disgusting. It's just those Indian competitions. They are so stupid. Seriously. Oh! Ah, never mind. Never mind. So this right here is the AMGM inequality, that's what we call it, and now we can use it on what we got here. So our AM is going to be one quarter, obviously, this is our arithmetic mean, by our e equation, and this is greater or equal to, okay, now the nth root, we got four samples, so the fourth root of, and now we got our samples multiplied together. If we were to multiply this together, we are going to get two as a factor, we are going to get one, two, three times our A, so A to the third power, and the same thing with the Bs and the Cs, B to the third power, times c to the third power. And now we can simply solve for ABC because this is where we want to go at overall. We want to have our product ABC which is going to be here. So this is just ABC to the third power. We want to isolate this and we want to have an order relation which we now got through our AMGM inequality in this ordered field R plus. Meaning we are just going to take the fourth power on both sides. So this is one quarter to the fourth power. We also know that one quarter is nothing other than one half squared, meaning by using exponent rules, this is just one half to the eighth power overall, and this is greater or equal to two a b c to the third power. And now what we can do is we can multiply both sides by one half because it's not equal to zero, obviously, giving us another factor of one half, leaving us in the process with a b c to the third power being less or equal to one half to the ninth power. And since a, b and c are all positive, their product is also positive, hence we can just simply take the third root on both sides by only considering the positive branch obviously. And by taking the third root this is just like multiplying um, by, by exponentiating uh, both sides to the one third power giving us 9 over 3 giving us 3 as new power. So a times b times c 
is less or equal to one half to the third power and one half to the third power is just one over two to the third power which is going to give us one eighth and hence we're done this is what we wanted to show and if you do enjoy stuff like competitive mathematic problems or just algebra calculus etc in general then i invite you to try out today's sponsor print who are kind enough to sponsor yet another video here on this channel and trust me they got a lot of stuff coming your way a lot of very very good stuff and a lot of very well thought out courses Print is, in my opinion, one of the best sources online to learn new things. And by new things, I mean mathematics, physics, um, chemistry, uh, Python programming, for example. No matter what you want to learn, they probably got something up their sleeve for you. And overall, just as an introduction, Print is an online learning platform and also app. You can use it on the go, learn something new while being in the bus or walking down the street, um, who provide you with some of the best online um, learning courses that you could ever hope for. And Brilliant really shines with their online courses, if you ask me. They are highly interactive, nearly 70 interactive courses. Um, they give you graphical and visual interpretations of topics like calculus, geometry, a lot of other branches of mathematics and physics. And just overall, they give you such good and well thought out and also compressed explanations, but, but really to the point explanations, that you can really learn a lot of stuff from their courses. And it's, 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 it's a really good experience, if you ask me. You should definitely try it out for yourself. And next to their courses, they also got this huge community of people who use Brilliant over there, who can also formulate their own problems in their dedicated um, exercise pages. And this way you are never going to run out of content over on their website. Like seriously, new exercises are being posted like all the time over on their website. You refresh, you get a new question. And it's also um, ordered by medium, easy and hard difficulty questions. So you can really try to start off slowly and build yourself upwards to harder and harder exercises. And also they got some Wikipedia pages going on where you can read into things like polygamma functions and all the other background information that you need to deal with those exercises that other people give you. And if this feels like it's something for you, if you think that you could benefit from Brilliant, then definitely make sure to check out the link at the top of the description. With it, you're going to get free access to a big portion of Brilliant already and the first 200 people to actually make use of the link get 20% off an annual premium subscription. And as mentioned before, it's so freaking worth it. Seriously, it's, it's so worth it. Definitely try it out. Definitely get yourself a premium subscription if you want to learn something new each and every day. And this basically concludes today's video. If you did enjoy what you have seen today, then also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out my Teespring shop or just STEM merch for a lot of cool uh, merchandise. And up until next video, I wish you guys a flamble day. Please stay safe. Ciao.